Hi there, I would like to take you on a walking tour of Moscow's newest shopping mall called Mega Teplistan. Let's go. If you're here for the first time, my name is Konstantin and welcome to Inside Russia. We're living in today's Russia, explained by the insider you can trust. And if you're a returning viewer, then thank you so much. You're awesome and you rock. Please keep on coming back for more. This shopping mall is actually the oldest one and the newest one in Moscow at the same time. The oldest one because it was the first one to open back in the early 2000s. And this shopping mall introduced Russians the idea of modern Western shopping mall. And the newest because it was renovated very recently and uh, everything has been refreshed and it looks really, really good. So I'd like to take you on a walking tour. This is it. The Mega Mall. This is a fairly large place. I wouldn't say it's the biggest in Moscow, but for its time it was the biggest, but not anymore. But very nice, cozy, and after the renovation, it looks pretty good. Of course, the key attraction here is IKEA. Actually, this entire mall is owned by IKEA, and they're doing a construction project, renovation phase two. They're building a large parking parking garage right there because parking here is a drag, really difficult. Let's go inside. This is the grand entrance. Very impressive, I must say. We get inside and see the information desk right away and a boutique shopping, well, food court. This is the information desk. Look nice and friendly. The chain of Italian restaurants here in Moscow. This is a cafe. Food court. When this place first opened, I think it was back in 2001, well, I got here first in 2004, I couldn't believe they had a skating ring right inside of the shopping mall. Just about right here, yes, a skating, a small skating ring. It was always packed with kids, and uh, we skated here actually a few times. Again, everything here is brand new. They had a huge renovation project. It took them a couple years to do that. There is a second level for the food court where the usual suspects, Burger King, McDonald's there, you know, KFC. Let me go and check it out. Huge open space. We 
the skating ring was right just about here. And right there, there used to be a movie theater, and it's, uh, well, I think it's closed now. Either due to later stage of renovation or due to CV-19. That, I don't know. Everything is bright, large, and clean. We have, uh, you know, Burger King, they advertise in beer. You buy one beer, you get the second beer free. And there's a KFC and McDonald's. Don't you guys love when uh, McDonald's is in Russian? All right, let's go back to the, the ground level. Now, along with fast food, they have real restaurants here. Shvili is a great Georgian bistro. Been there a couple times. This is a Russian fast food called Teremok. Uh, it's very unusual here. It's more like a, a little sit-in cafe rather than just a, a fast food joint that it is. Fobo, Vietnamese. Hanoi food, uh, Uzbek pilaf, pilaf here is not that great, try their, ugh, don't come here, baby potato, my son's most favorite place in the world, uh, this is unusual, Gagawa, chicken master, I don't know what that is, must be a chicken place. Walker, Sbarra, I think that's American chain, Sbarra. Now we're leaving the shopping court area and getting into the stores. Just like any shopping mall, this place is divided into sections. And it has a couple anchor stores. One is IKEA, and another one is Ashan. Ashan is like Walmart in Russia. We have this section for apparel, expensive brands such as Ferla. Zara, Marco Polo, Max Mera, Marina Rinaldi, Strelson, Hugo Boss, you know, the usual suspects of uh, expensive apparel. Bickenbergers, Victoria's Secret is here as well. They sell Swiss watch here. I'm heading towards Ashan, that large, huge superstore. It has everything, including food. Not the best and not the cheapest. Used to be like a discount store back in the days, 15, 20 years. It was opened by a French company, owned by the French company called Ashan. But then about 10 years, they sold their business to Russian partners. And the place has gone down ever since. their own bakery, sell pizzas, hot dogs, places, you know, things like this. Not my most favorite place, why I don't ever come here to shop, but I'll show you what this looks like. 
this used to be the only place in Moscow, like mega, mega food store. Not the only one, there's a huge chain. There are like dozens of stores all over Moscow. You can't even see the end. This place is massive. Now, what happened? What happened? The French company opened this store and you couldn't beat the prices. It was the cheapest and food was pretty high quality. So for years, this place acquired an image of a decent shopping, food shopping spot. And then the French sold it. The Russians took over. They jacked up the prices. So it's not the cheapest anymore, but uh, still has a reputation of being the cheapest and frugal people come here but they totally get caught this shop is awesome it looks so neat so clean so good that i actually want to stop by and buy something here like a new perfume or something like that There's another gallery, apparel, but less expensive stores, less expensive brands. No, this is something unusual. This part of the mall is brand new. That There was a Finnish retail uh, store, a large one called Stockman sold both apparel, food, things, but they moved out of Russia. They closed this place and reopened as the World of Sea World Adventures. No, 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 World of Undersea Adventures. Under the Sea Adventures. Oh. Basically one huge kids section. This is the first time I am visiting this place. You gotta take Michael here. Mother Care is a very, very large chain for pregnant women and for, you know, young moms. I guess the idea of this place is to take kids here to shop for toys, to entertain them and for parents to buy something at the same time. Uh, it's a very, very known place in Russia. A department store called uh, Children's World, Yetsky Mir. Again, this is a brand new area. They opened recently and this place is absolutely huge. Wow. Place for kids. Michael is gonna love this right here. It's all themed like uh, under the sea adventure, sunken ships. Oh. By the way, so you know the prices in Russia have gone out of control. Crazy. In the last year, on almost everything, the prices have doubled and our wages have stayed the same. 
I'm doing shopping for apparel for my son and you know my girls and this is crazy. Very famous place in uh, every every Russian know. This is a, a coffee shop next door called Chocolatier Chocoladnitsa. Spread out in the entire Russia. Their coffee is not that great. Now we are leaving the kids area and entering the mall again. Rayma is what I buy Michael to play out in the snow. He's due to a new coat. Actually gotta check it out. Finnish company, awesome by the way. We're leaving kids area and entering the electronics department. One of the entrances of the shopping mall right there. And there is an underground parking. Obviously there isn't enough parking for everyone. They're building another underground parking lot. Anyone for shoe shopping? Victoria's Secret Pink. What the heck is that? And this is an important message for you guys. I would like to thank the sponsor of this video. Wait, there's no sponsor of this video. No one wants to sponsor this dumb channel. I am the sponsor. <laughs> okay, but if you guys want to help me out, press the like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you don't <laughs> miss any further updates. Entering a line, row of less expensive brands. Not cheap, but less expensive. Out of known brands for you guys, well, most likely all brands, well, most of brands here are well known to the Westerner. Gap, United Colors of Benetton, Banana Republic. United, Bershka, Samsonite. Again, all the stores have been refreshed and they look awesome. On the inside and on the outside, they look absolutely fantastic. What the heck is that? We're entering, uh, leaving the apparel section, the cosmetics. Letik, le letik, letik. А как называется правильно? Letik. Something I haven't heard before, but hey, they come out with uh, new brands every every single day. UGC Cafe. They have decent coffee, but my most favorite coffee here is, of course, the Starbucks. This is the grand entrance again. 
place looks beautiful at night when everything's lit up. Love Republic, Pandora, Desiton, Lensmaster. <laughs> this is Russian Lenscraft. TJ collection. Calvin Klein jeans, Tom Taylor. I believe these are all American brands. Reserved. Look around. Sales everywhere. We just came out of another lockdown due to CV-19 spread. And the stores are trying to move things. So they have incredibly, incredibly large sales everywhere. Reserved is huge here. Christmas shopping has kicked in here. They're having, uh, you know, start pre-Christmas -pre sales. And the Christmas sales will start in about two to three weeks. All these lights are lit up at night. Looks absolutely marvelous. And this is the IKEA, the entrance to IKEA. And IKEA takes a huge part of the shopping mall. It's a huge mega store. And it's absolutely the same as in other countries. The securities are giving me dirty looks, <laughs> but they don't say anything. Poland bear. Although most shops are open and they have remained open in the last 18 months despite all the CV19 craze, some shops are closed. They moved out. Uh, you know, places like this, you see something's coming up soon, but it's closed. They masked it up so well that you just pass by and you don't even notice that there was a shop or store there and it's closed now. This is a Samsung store. Samsung has dedicated stores in almost every large shopping mall in Russia. It's more a showcase, a showcase of their technologies. It's like app stores in the United States. Here we have Samsung stores and no dedicated app stores. And this is M Video, Russian equivalent of Best Buy. Huge electronics mega markets. I bought an iPhone 13 here recently. While Moscow was on the lockdown, and I went through a pretty, pretty funny procedure. Um, you know, I had to pick it up in a dark, very poorly lit underground parking, okay? I made the entire video about that. Check it out. The link is in the corner. The place is huge. You can barely see the backside of that place. And this is the App Store. Well, in Russia, it's, it's not really the App Store, uh, Apple Store. It's called Restore, uh, but it, it's dedicated to Apple. That's official Apple reseller. Of 
course, they're advertising iPhone 13, Apple Watch Series 7, you know, the new MacBook Pros and things like that. This is how Apple stores look like in Russia. They usually, they're usually small. A little stop where you can get freshly squeezed juice. Pomegranate, banana, orange, of course. Здравствуйте. Mangoes. Sports apparel right there. Reebok, Nike, Adidas, Helly Hansen, streetwear. Oh my goodness, look, there's a Christmas tree up already. Uh, let's go check it out. Nike store. That's pretty cool. You know, it says uh, you can't stop the sports. The first store I see that has put up something against all this CV craziness. Cheers to you, Nike, you know? Ice cream. Reflections cannot let you see that well. But it uh, looks awesome. More juices and coffee. I don't think this is the grand Christmas tree, it's just a small one. А когда елку поставили? Не могу сказать, я только с отпуска пришел. Понял. They must have just put it up. Marks and Spencer is a British chain. They don't sell food in Russia, but they certainly sell apparel. Sportmaster, a huge super sports, super sport, um, super sport clothing and shoes. Anyway, <laughs> super sports store, very large. Sportwise, can find anything here, anything you want. If it's not here, you usually go online and deliver to the store next next day or same day. This line is dedicated to different accessories, shoes, jewelry, things like that. Tommy Hill figure, very American. U.S. Polo Association, Max & Co. company. And this is how they clean. Timberland, Calvin Klein. And up ahead to the left is one of my most favorite stores in this shopping mall. It's called Lint. And it's all about chocolate. Not simple chocolate, but Lint chocolate. And I'm gonna give you a little hint how to get free stuff here. Здрасте. Можно у вас? Конфетку. Да, нет? 
А сыдлений нет, это классический молочный. Да, я знаю. А. Вот Хорошо. беленький, если бы вы мне дали. На дегустацию у нас, к сожалению, вот только вот этот вариант. Ладно. Я вас можно снимать. You come to this place and they give you a freebie always at any store. Yeah. Three different kind of chocolates to choose from and uh, it's like a little um, try out, try a tester. There you go. And you know what I'm gonna do with it? Eat it. This is great stuff. My favorite chocolate in the world. Mm. Я же маски не могу есть. Я понимаю, но... Mm. Thank you very much, Lind. It's not sponsored by Lind, you know. This chocolate in this kind of shop, Lind, is not news to you, to most of you guys, because I learned about Lind chocolate for the first time back in Maine, in the United States. And this is my favorite right here. The white one. This is expensive, a son of a gun. Mm, that was good. They having some kind of open air fair sale of some sort. Winter clothes. I don't really know what this is. Useless, pretty things for your house. This is pretty cool. They take a wine bottle and heat it up and smash it. Starbucks. My most favorite coffee in the world. And I think this is where we started. Let me show you a pretty cool new feature they installed. In, instead of taking bottled water along with you, and then throwing, once you're done with water, throw in the bottle, buying a new one, you can just uh, refill cold water or boiling hot water for your tea. So you can bring your cup, reusable cup, a sachet of tea, and actually have a tea right here. That's a pretty cool idea. And sit right here and enjoy your tea. That's what I would do probably next time. It's time to say goodbye. Thanks for walking with me today. I'll see you next time.